Ultimately, we need to understand what is the difference between peak power and average power dissipation in a circuit involving an AC. So in very simple terms, when we calculate the peak power, we have to use peak values of your V and I. And of course, when you calculate the average power, you are using the RMS values of V and I. So what exactly do I mean by that? So we know in general, P equals to IV, equals to I squared R, equals to V squared over R. And so if I want to calculate peak power, then that would be I naught V naught or I naught squared R times V or V naught squared over R, where R, of course, is the resistance or the resistor where you're trying to calculate the power dissipation in. And I know this is quite lame, but P RMS, sorry, P average would be V RMS, I RMS, or I RMS squared R, or indeed V RMS squared over R. So with all of these in place, we can actually look at, of course, again, the most common type of alternating source, which is the sinusoidal one. And so notice that remember or remember that the peak voltage sorry the rms voltage in a sinusoidal source is its peak over square root two and the rms current of course is also the peak current over square root two and so the peak or the average power dissipated in a resistor in of course one that is connected to a sinusoidal source is v rms times i rms which is v naught over square root 2 times i naught over square root 2, which equals to v naught i naught over 2, which is peak power over 2. And so this gives us a very nice relationship over here. The average power dissipated in a sinusoidal uh, source is actually half the peak power 